Привет, товарищи! Welcome to my master sky. Today I'm going to show you a really quick and effective heater that you can make just using terracotta clay pots, you know, just a standard garden variety, and just a couple of these cheap candles that you can you can buy like 30 for two dollars or something like that. All right, let's get to it. The first thing that we're gonna need, of course, is two terracotta clay pots. A smaller one and a bigger one. The easiest way to find an effective combination is if the base of the smaller one and the top of the second one is about the same size. If that's about the same size, then you're gonna have a really nice and even distribution. The next thing that we're gonna need is some candles. I bought 30 of these for $2. These cheap candles can be found just about anywhere. Whether it be a Walmart or a Dollar General, Costco, whatever. Really cheap candles and they burn for about 3 to 4 hours. Thirdly, what we're going to need is a pair of skewers. And the pair of skewers is just mainly to create um, a air passage underneath the clay pots so the air can get in there so the fire doesn't get extinguished. And the last couple of things that we're going to need is a way to start the candles to light them and we're going to need a coin. The coin is to block the hole on the smaller clay pot. So the first thing that you do is you find a good place to place your heater and in this case I'm using a metal table but you can use a tile, a plate, a ceramic base of some sort because you want to make sure that you don't set anything on fire. I've actually experimented and I found out that two skewers were, were not enough and I needed a couple of more as you guys can see. So I made a quick little box and then you're going to need to light your candle and place it in the middle then take the smaller pot and put it right on top and place the coin right on top to block all the heat so it'll stay inside. Now the main thing is you don't want to put your candle out. So if you look directly underneath, you'll see that it's still burning. And you need to make sure the first 30 seconds or so to make sure that thing doesn't go out. Once you light that and successfully burning, this pot will begin to start heating up. What we need to do next is to place the bigger, larger pot directly on top of that. Now the smaller pot, as it begins to become hotter and hotter, it's going to be begin to contact the air around it and evenly transfer the heat uh, into the air and the hot air will come directly out of this hole and it will rise to the top. So you'll have a very concentrated heat source coming from here. And after about 20 minutes, it's about 180, 180 on average Fahrenheit. That's pretty hot guys. As I put this back, the hole on top, I can actually physically feel how warm it is. You can, there's like a nice little column of hot air just going up and around. Wasn't that pretty simple? Uh, in the very beginning, I made a couple of mistakes by using two skewers because there wasn't enough airflow. So I added a couple more. That's why we needed just a couple more. Or if you're using a plate or whatever, just make sure that the inner pot is... Uh, tall enough to where there's enough air for the candle to burn. Once you do that, <clears throat> just make sure that that coin is completely covering that opening on top because you want to trap all of the air in there. Because once you trap all the air, then you can effectively heat up the inner um, terracotta pot and then you can uh, begin your heat transfer um, <clears throat> and warm up that air and create that warm column that in turn is going to actually heat up your room. Something like this, guys, it costs less than a dollar a day to run. Uh, you can do the math. Uh, I, mine, for me personally, with all my cost, it, it was like 40 cents a day. Uh, maybe a little bit less, like 39 cents. So as always, I hope you guys enjoyed this kind of video. Uh, go ahead and like, subscribe, comment down below. And as always, I'll see you next time.